burn so and this is a lot of redness anyway I wanted to do a nice quick and easy video for my first one back recording after my holiday now I was doing a little bit of a look around on YouTube and found my fairy friend tag and if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I am very much a crazy cat lady cat mum I post a lot of pictures of my cat so I thought this was the perfect tag to do she's not actually in the room with me she's off gallivanting on her little adventures doing what she does best but I managed to get a couple of snippets of her this morning and I'm going to try and record a little bit of her after maybe a bit outside or something and I'll swap them in throughout the video so you can see her um, but there's not that many questions so it's a nice quick tag video for you what's your pet's name her name is Aurora which if you are a Disney fan you will know that is Sleeping Beauty I called her that because when I first got her all she did was sleep and she was just so tiny and she was so cute and it just worked and it stuck so yes her name is Aurora. What kind of pet is it and what breed? She is a cat um, and she is a tabby. I think she might be a cross or something but I'm not sure what but she looks like a tabby. So. How long have you had your pet friend? Um, I think I've had her, I keep touching the camera on my foot, sorry. Um, I think I've had her about four years. I'm not 100% on that though. Um, three or four years, I think. How did you get your pet? Um, okay, so she, her mum was my boyfriend's cat, who obviously had kittens, um, and I fell in love with her straight away. Now, we already have a cat, we've got a cat called Misty, and so my mum was like, no, you're not having a cat, we're not getting another cat, it's not happening. My heart was set on this little tiny ball of fluff, I needed her in my life. So, when she was allowed to come home, I literally had her box, put her in it, took some kitten food, got some kitten food, and I literally just drove her home, walked in and put her on the kitchen table and my mum's stepdad looked at me like, uh, no, that's not happening. So I just left it there, went back to the car to get the rest of the stuff, came back in and they'd opened the box and picked her up and were in love with her. And the idea was that she would stay with us for six months um, and we would get her another home basically. Six months later, you can keep her. So she is still here. <laughs> How old is your pet? Uh, like I said, I think I've had her three or four years, so she's either just turned three or just turned four, because her birthday's like July, August time. There's some quirky things about your pet's personality. She is a spoilt brat. She's got this thing at the moment where she won't drink water out of a bowl, she'll only drink it out of a tap, so in the bathroom. Out the, to begin with it was out of the sink and she would just sit on the toilet and wait for you to walk past the door so you'd see her and wait for you to turn the tap on and she would have a drink out of the tap. It's now um, moved to she will only drink out of the bath. Um, again she still sits on the toilet seat next to the bath and she just sits there and stares and waits and she sits there with like one little foot up. She doesn't sit but normally she'll always have a little foot up so she'll be like and she's got really big eyes as well, so it's like kitten eyes, staring, waiting for you to turn the tap on. But she has a little routine, so she'll do it in the morning, she does it during the day, in the evening. And she'll also, she goes and wakes my brother up at like three in the morning and waits for him to go and turn the tap on. <laughs> Which she does, so that's why she keeps doing it. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? This is going to be a very cheesy answer, and all the ones that I've watched, they've all been cheesy. But Aurora is like my best friend. I love her. She's always there. You can't have an argument with a cat. You can't disagree with her. She can't argue back at you. She just listens and she gives the best cuddles as well. So if I'm in a sad place, I usually come and find her. What are some of your favourite pastimes with your pet? It's kind of pastime, kind of present. <laughs> but, um, she always comes and has a little cuddle at night before I fall asleep and she's always there when I wake up in the morning as well so she has her little routine where when I come in my room and put my little lamp on she knows I'm about to get ready for bed and she goes and sits on my windowsill um, and she will just lay there or sit there until I turn everything off or like I lay down turn my lights off and I'll watch like Netflix or something and she comes down and has a little cuddle and she stays there until I'm well as far as I know she stays there until I'm asleep um, and then when I wake up she's always at the end of my bed and she comes up for a morning cuddle as well and yeah it's just a really nice end and start to the day anyone who has a cat or, or any pet really will know it's really relaxing it's really comforting as well when your cat or like dog or whatever comes and lays with you crazy cat lady moment probably last question is what are nicknames that you call your pet I call her 
I call her Baby, I call her Sweet Pea, um, Aurora, just because it's easier to say than Aurora, Aurora, it's quicker. Rory, Munchkin, I call her Munchkin for some reason. Lots of little, like, baby names, because she is my baby and I love her. There you go, that's all the questions. It was just a really nice, quick, easy tag. But yeah, I, I'm like crazy about cats and dogs and I really want a dog and I'm currently trying to persuade my boyfriend for us to have one. He's currently saying that I can have um, a French bulldog, so I might stick with that, but I really want a Dachshund. Like a miniature fluffy one. We'll see. Uh, if you've done this tag, uh, leave it as a video response or let me know in the comments because I'm obsessed with them. I'm animal crazy and I will just watch them all. Even if it is about like your fish I will probably watch it because I'm just yeah I love animals I should have been a vet or like worked in a zoo no I couldn't have coped with like the poopy the pooping no. never mind don't work in a zoo if you are new to Polly Pocket Beauty don't forget to subscribe and like the video also let me know if you're new in the comments below um, my voice is really croaky for some reason I think I'm getting like a cold or something that's really annoying <coughs> Um, but yeah, thumbs up this video if you are a crazy cat lady like me and I will see you next time. Don't forget my social media links are down below. Go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see probably way too many pictures of my cat. Bye bye! <laughs>